do this for better rudder control in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Do you struggle with the oversensitive rudder in Microsoft Flight Simulator? We've all been there, you're 100 foot off the runway, setting up for a butter landing, but all of a sudden you're a little too heavy on the rudder and it sends you offline or worse, the grass. Well, we're going to try and sort that out right now. Rudder input is essential for lateral control on takeoff and landing. As soon as you're dealing with any type of crosswind, it's essential. Whether that be controlling them from a joystick or rudder pedals, it works equally as well for both. So what we're going to do is implement an S-curve into the calibration of the rudder. In simpler terms, we're going to make the movements near the centre more muted and the movements on the outer edges more aggressive. This gives you much more control over the finer rudder inputs you need to make when landing and taking off and also when trying to introduce slip on approach. Just quickly, the definition of slip. Now, I literally just read this off of Google because it's fairly hard to explain. So, slip is an aerodynamic state where an aircraft is moving somewhat sideways as well as forward relative to the oncoming airflow or relative wind. In other words, for a conventional aircraft, the nose will be pointing the opposite direction to the bank of the wing. So here's how to make the controller adjustment. Launch Microsoft Flight Simulator, open the Options menu, and then click on the Controls Options menu. Highlight the controller you're inputting the rudder to. In this case, I'm using the Thrustmaster T-Rudder. Click on the blue box titled Sensitivity. Give some rudder input to identify if this is the right axis. In this case, for me, joystick L axis Z. If you haven't been in here before, both sensitivity values will be something like minus 50, minus 25 or zero. The setting I'm gonna use is minus 75 on both the sensitivity plus and minus. I'll set a dead zone of just 1%. I like the dead zone at 1%. As you can see, the S curve is now almost flat in the middle. For me, this negates the issue of having to have much dead zone at all. This will also depend on the controller, rudder or stick you're using, so you may want to come back here and adjust a little bit. Don't touch the neutral. This will change the center point of the rudder. The only reason to adjust this as far as I'm aware is if you have a faulty controller. Keep the extremity dead zone on zero. This means there will be no dead zone at the end of your rudder input. Leave the reactivity on 100%. I'm not exactly sure what this is, so I've just left it default. Then hit done and apply and save. Head back to the main screen and select your favorite flight. Here you can see me approaching Edinburgh Airport. I'm approaching east with a heavy crosswind, which I'm combating with my rudder input. Clearly you still need a bit of skill, but every little helps. If you're looking for a good landing challenge, check out Donegal on the high wind challenge tab. This is great for practicing with rudder. Put your best score in the comments. My best score on Donegal is, uh, nah, nah, I'm not gonna give you my best score. Happy flying.